Idag lanseras AMD FreeSync, en teknik som synkroniserar ditt radiongrafikkort med din bildskärm för att ge en bättre spelupplevelse. Tekniken introduceras som en konkurrent till Nvidia G-Sync och sägs ha potential på marknaden bland annat med sin öppna standard. Look at the rate of adoption of FreeSync. Yeah, you see LG, BenQ, Acer uh, and Samsung all here showing monitors um, roughly two months or so uh, behind the the CES announcement that we made. Uh, this is a, a rapid transition in the industry, and it's very clear that folks are picking this up very quickly. Um, there is no restriction from AMD's point of view. So any other any other competitive companies, anyone else in the PC marketplace can simply pick it up and use it. And the speed at which these monitors are being delivered to market says to me that actually that'll happen pretty quickly. AMD påstår att FreeSync är ett tekniskt bättre alternativ än en Nvidia G-Sync. En av fördelarna ska vara det breda stödet för både låga och höga uppdateringsfrekvenser. The full range for FreeSync that goes down as low as 9 hertz, significantly lower than any other competing solution, and up as high as 240 hertz. The monitors that we're seeing here today in Sweden, these go from I think minimum frequency of 40 hertz um, and up as high as 144 hertz. So even seriously competitive gaming, you get a great experience out of this. Uh, I don't know of anyone who's producing higher than 144 hertz monitors at the moment, but as soon as they do, FreeSync is ready. Till skillnad från en Nvidia G-Sync är AMD FreeSync en envägskommunikation mellan grafikkort och bildskärm. Detta sägs ge FreeSync flera fördelar. G-Sync has a, a synchronization which happens every frame and that has associated with it a penalty. At the moment we we're measuring about a 1-1.5% performance hit from using G-Sync versus simply turning it off. We don't see any performance hit with FreeSync and the reason for that is that FreeSync is by its very nature a monodirectional communication after the FreeSync protocol has been established between the graphics card and the, the monitor. <clears throat> As a result of which you get that, you know, data goes in one direction down a, a fast bus and that's the way it should go. The, the handshake is it's just not a, not a great idea and it isn't necessary if, as you do with FreeSync, we negotiate up front, here's your maximum, here's your minimum, anything inside that range, just run with it. And FreeSync works beautifully that way. If you see these demos, you know, you can feel the smoothness of it. You probably don't feel the extra 1.5%, but it's all game. FreeSync får idag stöd för Windows-datorer genom uppdateringar av AMDs drivrutiner. I nuläget finns dock inget stöd för Linux och stödet bland AMDs radiografikort är inte så utbrett som man skulle kunna önska. We're rolling out FreeSync support for the vast majority of PC gamers, but we love Linux gamers as well. We absolutely want to support them. Um, then the next question is, is it supported across all of your GPUs and APUs? And the answer is no. The reason for that is it requires a special piece of hardware in the display controller. And that new display controller is built into the 290 series. So you see it in the 290, the 290X and the 295X2. You see it in the 285, the Tonga board that we launched in August last year. And you see it in the 260 series as well. But all our future GPUs and APUs and all of our current APUs support FreeSync. So it's very much the standard going forward and we're trying to be super clear about which GPUs support it right now. AMD FreeSync är tänkt att ge spelentusiaster den bästa möjliga spelupplevelsen på stationära datorer. Men den kan också användas i bärbara datorer för att förbättra grafikuppstanda eller att förlänga batteritider. So laptop manufacturers can, if they build the right components, if they use the right scalers and panels, etc., then they can implement FreeSync in their laptops right now. And you know, we, we would not want to restrict them. Um, is it the case that all of them will choose to do that? No, because there are other ways of connecting the, the components inside a laptop. It's possible to build a laptop, as I say, with a direct connection between the GPU and the panel and to, to avoid something like the embedded display port, in which case it would be impractical at the moment to, to support this. But we would encourage every manufacturer to look seriously at this. It makes for a great gaming experience. And the APUs, which are very popular on, on laptops, they deliver a wonderful gaming experience with FreeSync. It's, it's really beautiful. Det finns saker att förbättra här men som ni ser så kan man sitta ett, ett bra tag och ha kul även med VR på en mobiltelefon.